So today we're talking reflectors, and reflector is a great way to actually add extra impact into the photograph. So what's a reflector? Well, basically anything that will bounce light back. It could be a piece of card, it could be a piece of uh, aluminium foil, it could be the corrugation of a, a warehouse. It doesn't matter, but something that is going to reflect light. We've got window light coming through here, very strong light in fact today. And what I'm using is a last light by Manfrotto Tri-Grip. And what this is allowing me to do is actually work one-handed anyway, and I can actually bounce back the light into uh, Kel sequence, our subject for today, to actually kind of add extra impact. A couple little things to watch out for when you're using the reflector for the first time. You'll probably want to use it low or on the opposite side, okay? It's not going to end the world, so don't worry about it, okay? But the key, the key thing is to begin with, if you're going to light from below, be careful if you're using a, like a silver or a gold. That's going to really push the light up quite strong. Can you see that what I'm doing to you now? All right, that's going to be hard. So when I'm using light from below and punching up, then we use the white, okay? It's a little bit of a softer. It's going to still lift a little bit of the shadow information, but it's not going to be as harsh. One of the problems that we've got when we light from below, we horror light, yeah? It's kind of like kind of element and we want to avoid all that because basically Kelsey doesn't want to look like a monster. Um, so that's the first thing. Watch what you're doing when you're shooting from when you're using it from below. If you're using it on the opposite side, it's a no-no as far as I'm concerned. Why? Because we still live on a planet with one sun, with one direction of light. So it means as soon as that light's coming through, you're bouncing it in the other way, you're living on Mars. That's not what we're trying to do, all right? So where possible, try and keep the light on the same side as where the direction is coming from, okay? But when we use the reflector, what we want to make sure that we're doing is mimicking where we put a, lights of a studio flash or a, a strobe, okay? So by doing that, actually just pulling it onto the side, Pushing it in from here, we're going to get a drastically different image to where it's positioned here or on the opposite side. So always try and keep the reflector on the same side as your light source and your photography is going to bounce over my, I promise you. All right, so let's do a photograph. I'm using a simple prime lens. I'm a prime fan. Gives great drop focus in the background. I'm just shooting basically the kind of a head and shoulders image. Um, if I wanted to actually shoot the three-quarter length, I'd use my feet before zooming with a, a lens or whatever it would be. I want to go to a 50mm prime if I step back more to do a full length before I go to a medium zoom, but we'll talk about that on another film. Let's do the shot without first, okay? So this is a beautiful shot anyway. Why? Because I've got a direction to the light source as it is the sun is coming towards me instead of towards Kelsey. So I naturally got a back to the light even though we're being shielded by obviously the windows that we've got in here. So the first thing's gonna do, let's just bounce that little bit of white lighting in here. This won't increase the exposure much. The silver really will. Sorry Kelsey. Okay, so let's put the white in first. Let's do a quick, a quick shot. And what this is gonna do is add a lovely little catch light just into the bottom of the, the, the eye. As soon as we put the light from below, this is gonna mirror and of course, now what is gonna ha happen is we've just completely overexposed our image. So of course, you've always gotta make sure that when you're using a harsh reflector, you're actually adjusting your exposure when the reflector is in the place that it's gonna be, okay? Because otherwise you're gonna just burn out all your expo exposure. In this case, we just changed by around about two thirds of a stop. So I'm just gonna change the shutter speed, keep the aperture the same, do exactly the same image, and at least I've got recorded information but as you can see from the photograph it's lighting from below which I've already said is a bad thing so if I still want that drama of the hot light coming in all I want to do is light it from above point it back towards the subject there we go straight at me Danny that's lovely it's there and now we've got that lovely sharp glint in the eye okay it's as quick as that obviously the closer I get the more of the reflector that I use within the photograph the more it's gonna pop. But as soon as you use this light from high, you're gonna get that beautiful catch light and a real pop in, in the face. And that's what you're trying to achieve. So the basics of a reflector. Use it below and with white, never with a silver, silver unless it's the last resort. Avoid from putting the reflector on the opposite side of the subject from where the light source is coming from and where you can make sure you're putting the reflector high to sim simulate a studio light to create even better photographs. As simple as that. See you on the next film.